Most people think of the moon as a kind of passive backdrop, something poetic, maybe even mystical. But in truth, it plays an active and essential role in making life on Earth possible. One of the leading theories about the origin of life involves tidal zones, those shifting intertidal regions where water moves in and out, concentrating organic molecules, triggering reactions, and creating the conditions that may have sparked the first self-replicating structures. That entire process depends on tides, and the tides depend on the moon. Even if the moon didn't help initiate life on Earth, it has certainly helped sustain it. The tides created by its gravitational pull don't just move water, they circulate nutrients, oxygen, and heat throughout the oceans. Without that constant motion, large parts of the ocean would be stagnant and likely uninhabitable. But the moon also affects something even more fundamental, climate stability. Earth's axis is tilted, and that tilt is what gives us seasons. But that tilt isn't fixed. It wobbles over time. And if it wobbled too much, the results could be catastrophic. Some regions would become unbearably hot, others impossibly cold. Climate patterns would break down. Agriculture would become unreliable. Entire ecosystems could collapse. The moon helps to stabilize that tilt. It keeps Earth in balance, literally. And as if that weren't enough, the moon also acts as a kind of planetary shield. Its gravity helps divert asteroids and other space debris, many of which might otherwise collide with Earth. The moon has taken countless hits on our behalf. So when we talk about the moon being strange, we're not just talking about surface-level mysteries. We're talking about the fact that we may not even be here without it. And that raises a provocative question. Is this all just a lucky accident? Or is it possible that the moon is more than it appears? Follow for part five, where we'll look at why some scientists believe the moon is just a little too perfect.